What is going on guys? Welcome to part two of my series. Um, in this one, we're going to be adding IMG UI into our hack. Uh, we're gonna get the menu working and I'm gonna show you how to add like checkboxes to the menu. And um, I'm also going to add um, a feature where you press insert, it'll show the menu. And then if you press insert again, it'll hide the menu, okay? That's very common in a lot of cheats and I'll show you how to do all this. So it should be very quick and easy in this uh, episode here. Uh, if you haven't watched the part one, the last episode, go watch that. In that one, uh, we code uh, this whole file here. I explain all of this code and we set up um, an end scene hook, which we're going to need for this episode here. Now, in the next episode, um, I'm probably going to show how to do cams. And for that, we're going to ha um, have to hook a lot more functions. And um, hopefully I can get it all in one episode. If not, uh, it'll, ha it'll have to be two more episodes. So um, yeah, look out for that. If you want the source code from this video, uh, it's gonna be my Patreon linked below. All the source code is uploaded on there. For $5 a month, you can get um, all the source code from every single one of my videos. And you also get a special role in my Discord server. So thanks if you do that. And if not, you can also join my Discord server just for free, um, link in the description. Um, and you can join that and have a chat with the boys. So first thing we're gonna need for this one, um, we're gonna need some global variables, okay? So like I said, um, I want um, I want there to be a mechanism where when we press insert, it'll show the menu, and then when we press insert again, it'll hide the menu. So we're gonna need a Boolean to control that, and it's gonna be called show menu, okay? This is going to determine when we want to show the menu and when we want to hide the menu. And for the menu, I'm gonna show you uh, how to add some checkboxes. So I'm just gonna create a Boolean here. I'm going to call it cams because we're going to add cams in the next episodes and that's going to be our checkbox there, okay? So we've got a boolean to control whether we show our menu and a boolean to control whether we want cams on or off. Now I'm going to show the cams in the next episodes like I told you, but we need to create the boolean to have the checkbox, okay? So um, we're going to need to create a message handling uh, function here um, to handle the input into the window, okay? Okay, so the message handler um, we're gonna use is we're gonna use the IMG UI message handler and then we're also gonna um, create our own um, basically that just uses the show menu boolean, okay? So we're gonna need to include the IMG UI uh, message handler function. So I'm just gonna um, in, uh, type it out here. Um, it's a very long fucking name. Um, it's got a lot of fucking parameters. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep mumbling while I type it so that, um, it's not just dead silence, you know, because who likes dead silence in a YouTube video? Okay. So that's all the parameters. Um, <laughs> and now we're going to do our own. So it's going to be the same. It's going to be our result, but we're going to make it uh, win API and then we're just going to call it uh, WinProc, and it's going to have the same parameters. So I'm going to copy paste it and then we're gonna code it. So basically all we're gonna do is, is just gonna have a one if statement here and we're going to check, um, I just had to kill a moth, um, if uh, show menu is true, so if we want to show the menu, right? And uh, we call this function here and this function, then um, I'm gonna have to pass a fucking fuck. Okay, so h window message w param and l param, yay! All right, so if we want to show the menu and we call uh, the message handling function, then we want to return true, and that's going to send input to our menu. Okay. Otherwise, if we don't want to show the menu, then we just uh, send input to the game, right? And we do that by calling um, use this function here, call window proc, and we're just going to pass um, our original. Um, thing which is up here, right? No, okay, so we need to define it. Um, so we're gonna call it winproc underscore original, and you see it's not defined here, so we need to define it. Um, and it's just going to be down here, and we're gonna call it so winproc, and we're just gonna call it winproc underscore eric. We're gonna set it to null. Okay, so we're gonna call this function and then we're gonna pass the parameters. So we got hwind message wparam lparam and that's it. Okay, so what this is doing is if we wanna show the menu, then we um, handle uh, 
Okay, so what this is doing is uh, if we want to show the menu, then we're going to use the IMGUI message handler because that'll handle message to our uh, menu. And then we return true so that we don't send the input to the game. Okay, it only goes to our menu. Otherwise, if we don't, if our menu is not being shown, then we return the original uh, message handler, which is going to be the game's message handler, which means it's going to send our input to the game. Okay, so yeah, that's it. We got that done. Now we're going to have to... Uh, define this here and um, we're also going to need to implement this so the way we do that is we're going to put it into our end scene hook so in end scene we're going to have to add a fair bit of code so I need to find the end scene hook okay so I'm pretty much just going to like delete all this um, actually we just need to delete this and we're going to add some code in here so First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our little um, insert mechanism thing. So we're going to say if uh, we press insert, we want to show the menu, right? So if we do press insert, then we want to set show menu to the opposite of show menu, right? So if it's false, it's going to go true. If it's true, it's going to go false, right? So we've got that down. Now uh, we need to add our initialization here. So if you remember from last video, uh, this if statement, this is only going to run once, okay? So this is used to initialize, um, we're going to use it to initialize IMGUI and also initial, uh, grab the original win process um, handler. So yeah, that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to grab um, the original uh, message handler here and it's going to be a win proc and we use it by doing set window long pointer and this is also going to um, um, apply our uh, message handler, okay? And we're going to use this flag here. And then we're going to pass our uh, message handler, okay? That's going to be a long pointer. Okay, so what this is doing is it's setting um, uh, the game window. So what this is doing is it's us uh, changing the uh, message handler to our message handling function that we coded up here. Okay, so then it checks for our show menu and all that. So um, yeah, that's what that's doing. And then it's also grabbing the original so that we can call um, the original games uh, message handling function. So once we grab that, what are we gonna have to do? Uh, we're gonna initialize IMGUI. So first thing we're doing, is we're gonna set up the context, okay? So we're gonna check the version first, okay? And then we're going to create the context, okay? And then we're just going to define a IO variable, okay? And that's gonna be ampersand, and then we're gonna call it IO, and we get that by using get IO, okay? Okay, so once we've done that, we're just gonna set up the style. So we're gonna use um, the dark colors. You can choose whatever you want, I just use dark. And now we're gonna initialize the uh, bindings here. So we're going to do the Win32, which is not that one, it is in it. So we need to do that, but that's not the one I was looking for. Um, Yep, that's the one. Oh, it just came up. Uh, yep, that's the one. All right, so we need that one. And we need to pass window. And then for the next one, we need to pass the device, the DirectX device. Okay. So that's it for the initialization. So what we're doing is um, we're setting uh, the message handling function and then we're setting up IMGUI basically. Um, and that's all we need to do for the uh, initialization. And once that's done, then we can um, show our menu, right? So if we have initialized, right? So if IMGUI is set up, then we can render our menu here. So we're going to start an IMGUI frame. Um, okay. This needs to be capital. Fuck. Okay. So after that, we need to do the Win32 frame. Okay, and then we need to set the actual new frame. Okay, cool. So we set up the frame here. Now we can uh, 
put whatever we want in the frame. So what we're going to put in the frame is our menu. So we're going to do that by saying I'm UI begin. This is your go fucking fuck. This is just going to create a basic menu, right? When you use I'm UI begin, just like a simple square. Um, and we're going to say show menu is the Boolean that controls that, right? So if show menu is true, it will show the menu. If it's false, then it will not show the menu. Um, and then we're going to add um, the checkbox, right? So we're going to use that by using I'm UI checkbox. We're going to say the label is camps and the Boolean we want to control it with is camps, right? Now, the way I'm UI works is you have this I'm UI begin and that uh, creates like the window, if you will. And then you don't have to use these brackets here, but I do it just to make it easier to understand what's going on. So whatever's inside these brackets, it's what's going to be in your menu. So you could add, you know, what the fuck did I just do? Um, so you can add like multiple checkboxes, right? You could have all these checkboxes you want and they're all going to be in that one window, in that one menu, right? So we only need one. Uh, we only need one checkbox, so I'm gonna get rid of these. And yeah, so that's basically how I'm UI works. And then that's gonna be our menu and we're going to render it now. So we're gonna use render and then we need to call um, render data. So this one right here and that's going to render our stuff. We need to pass a parameter here. We need to pass uh, the draw data object. Okay. And that should render um, our stuff. So we've got the if here. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah. And we want this to only show if our menu wants to be shown, right? So we need to add an if statement here. We want to say if show menu. And that means this is only going to show uh, when uh, our menu is toggled, right? So, yeah beautiful um okay so what are we doing here we're got our function here well we've got a little mechanism here that says when we press insert uh we change the value of show menu so if it's true it'll go to false if it's false it'll go to true and that means uh, when we press insert it'll show the menu and if we press it again it'll hide the menu then we set up our uh, IMGUI, we set our uh, message handler here, and then uh, if we have initialized and we wanna show the menu, then we set up a new frame. We have our menu here, which is just a basic um, IMGUI window. Um, and then we have one checkbox for cams, and then we render it, and that's it. So I think that's it for this. Uh, for this. Um, I'm just gonna build it, and I'm gonna see. Okay, so um, I just tried to build, and I got an error here. Um, you see this area here, it says unresolved external symbol because I misspelt uh, the name of this function. All you need to do is add a win before the 32, just like that. And then that should work. And then I need to change it over here because this is spelt differently as well. There you go. Okay, so that should fix the error. If you guys got that error as well, should fix it. And I think that's it for this episode. So I'm going to see if it builds. Uh, and I'm going to try inject it and see if the menu pops up. Okay, so I've opened CSGO here. I'm gonna use uh, GH injector again, and I'm gonna try and inject the DLL that we just made. I'm gonna see if our menu pops up when we press insert. So it's not showing up now because we set it to false initially so that it doesn't show up uh, as soon as you inject. So if I press insert, it shows up, there you go. And uh, we can move it around and stuff because we're actually passing input to the menu instead of the game because of our message handler. And if I press insert again, it disappears. Um, we can test out the checkbox here. If you click it, it actually works. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's how you attach I'm GUI. Um, now you guys can make whatever menu you want. Anything you guys want to do, you can do it. You have I'm GUI working. Um, and in the next episode, I'm going to add some more DirectX hooks. And that's going to help us uh, create the cams, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you later.